In his first public address, Senegalese President-elect Basiru Jamai Faye thanked his supporters and pledged to bring solutions to some of the problems he says his country is facing. I will govern with humility and with transparency. I will work to get rid of corruption in all sectors and will work toward rebuilding our institutions. Fai says it's time to bring calm to the country after outgoing President Macky Sall tried to postpone the February elections until December, plunging the country into a brief political crisis. National reconciliation and rebuilding our fundamental ways of living together, the pre-electoral crisis we lived through cost some people their lives and many were jailed. We hope to turn the page and reconcile people's hearts and the Senegalese people. Sunday's official election results have not yet been published, but Faiz supporters say they are satisfied with what they have seen so far. We were hoping to win with over 70 percent in the first round, but it seems like we are at 57 percent. It's only preliminary numbers, but we hope that number will be even higher. We lived through moments that almost pushed Senegal into chaos, but thank God everything is back in place now. We had a transparent presidential election. Candidate Jomai Fai was elected with a comfortable margin. What we must do now is reconcile the Senegalese people, as Jomai said in his speech, and transform the country's economy. Earlier at the ruling party's coalition headquarters, Amadou Ba, the coalition lead candidate who lost the election to Fai, told reporters about a conversation he had with the president-elect. He told us that he congratulated him, he is happy for his victory, and uh, he wishes him well. I wish him success, and may God accompany him as he carries out his various missions and goals for our glorious nation and for the well-being of our population. As Ba's supporters try to digest their candidate's loss in the first round that saw 17 candidates vying for the top job, tensions of the last few months seem to be fading away and being replaced by the hope that Senegal's reputation as a beacon of democracy in the region will soon be restored. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Dakar, Senegal.